What's up guys, John here and welcome back to John Moon Studios. This week's video is fairly short, but I'm going to be showing you four different clefs musicians use to read their music depending on what instruments they play, how to read the notes on the clef that they're using, as well as a list of instruments that use their clefs. Let's get right to it. The first clef we're going to talk about is the treble clef. The treble clef has this symbol on it, which is also known as the G clef, because the little circle right here is right over the note G. And again, we'll talk about getting the notes later on this clef. The next one we're going to talk about is the bass clef, which has this symbol, and it's also known as the F clef. And the reason why it's called the F clef is because these two dots that line right in the middle is the note F. And again, we'll find out where the notes are later on in the video. And then we have our tenor clef, which is also called the C clef, because middle C, or the note C, is right in the middle of this line here, or in the middle of this three. So this is where middle C would be. And then in the alto clef, it's exactly the same, but instead of being displaced on the staff, it's actually centered on the staff. And again, middle C is where this little three symbol meets in the middle line. So next we're gonna talk about the list of instruments that use each clef, and I have them written down here so I don't forget any. So on the treble clef right here, we have violins, flutes, oboe, bagpipes, clarinets, saxophone, French horns, trumpet, cornet, vibraphone, xylophone, mandolin, recorder, as well as the guitar and the piano. Moving on to the bass clef, we have the bass, of course, cello, euphonium, the double bass, bass guitar, bassoon, contra bassoon, trombone, baritone horn, tuba, and timpani. Moving to the tenor clef, which is this one right here, we have the cello as well, bassoon, trombone. So the reason why bass clef players play the tenor clef is because bass clef players, when they're playing above the staff or in a higher register, they switch to the tenor clef so they could read the notes on the staff instead of above the staff. So the last clef we have here is the alto clef and instruments that use that clef is viola, English horn, trombone, bassoon, just so you can get an idea of what instruments use this alto clef. And again, some of these instruments does use bass clef and some of them can possibly use even treble clef. So if they're reading notes on the treble clef and it becomes too low, they then move into the alto clef. And then for bass clef, if you're reading the notes too high, they will then switch to the tenor clef. The music alphabet has seven letters, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then it repeats again back on A. So we're gonna look at the first clef here, treble clef, which is also called the G clef, because the belly of the treble clef is on G here. So if this note is G, then we know that if I write a note here, this is the note G, and if you know how to say your ABCs at least till G, then we're in good shape here. So we're gonna go in order, we're gonna go in an ascending pattern, and we're gonna go from G up to the space here. So remember, it's like saying your alphabet here. So if, the next, if this note is G, the next note is going to be A. And then the one after that is going to be B, which is on the line. So it alternates from space, line, space, line, space, line, keep going up, then the next space is going to be the note C. Also, coming down, it's the same thing, and I know I don't have any space here, but this is G. We have the note F right below, and then of course we would have the note E on the line, then below that we would have D. So that is how we read music, or that's an easy way that you can approach reading music. The next clef we're gonna talk about is the bass clef. Now the bass clef, we know that it's also called the F clef because I said that this line here is the note F because it's between these two dots. So let's just go ahead and write the note F right here. So again, 
we know how to say our ABCs from A to G, and we know that it keeps repeating after there. So we're gonna go from F, you go a space up or the next letter up, and we're gonna see the note G. Move to the next line, we're gonna see the note A. Same thing going back down. If this is F, you go to the space, this is the note E. And then going back down to the line, we have the note D. The last two clefs we're gonna talk about is the alto and the tenor clef. And remember that their, their alternate name is the C clef as well. And the reason they're called the C clef is because this three here, the middle note, this line here is known as middle C. So this note right here is going to be middle C. And again, the pattern doesn't change. We have seven notes. You're going in the ascending pattern, then the notes are gonna be going in order of the alphabet. And if you're going descending, then the notes are going to descend in the order. So we start on middle C on the alto clef. If this is C, you go to the next space. This is the note D. We go to the next line. This is the note E. And then you go up to the next space. Then that is the note F. Now you could do it coming back down as well. So we have the note C. We're gonna go back down one, so we go to B. You go down to the next line, we have the note A, so on and so forth. And now the tenor clef, same exact thing. The middle where the three meets, right here in the middle, this line is going to be your middle C. So this is the note C. Now if you're going up, after C, we have the space, which is going to be D. After D, we go to the next line. Here is E. And then we go up to, uh, to, the, to the note on top of the staff, which is, so we have C, D, E. This is F right up here. And then we could do the same thing coming back down. So this is C. Then we have the note B right under it on the space. And then we have the note A right under that on the line. So that is how we figure out how to read the notes on the C clef. The line that meets in the middle, that is going to be your middle C. And from there you could start expanding and using this little trick to figure out how to read music using all of the different kinds of clefs. If you found the information of this video helpful, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. If you have any questions or concerns throughout the videos, please drop your comments down below and I will get to them as soon as possible. If you have any topics you would like me to explain and talk about, please also let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to share with your musician friends. I will see you all soon.